right. Hi, Fred. Uh, hey, Sion. So, uh, hello, everyone else out there in the real world. Um, my name is Sayon Cypressuit, and I'm a program manager for UCC. And I'm here with Frederick Soar. He's the business navigator that's going to be giving us important information about um, uh, opportunities to help support businesses in our neighborhood. Fred, welcome. Thanks, Aeon. I feel welcomed. All right, so like Aeon said, I'm the business navigator for the United Cambodian Community. Um, right now, I know we're in a time of crisis during the COVID-19. A lot of businesses are forced to shut down during this time. So just know that the government has allocated some funding to provide relief during this time. Um, one of them is managed through the SBA. It's called the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. Now today, I want to go ahead and give you a proper guide on what's going to be asked of you um, throughout the loan uh, application. That way you're not too hesitant on filling it out because you should definitely, um, you know, request the aid you need during this time. Um, so the link is covid19relief.sba.gov. Um, this is the only place you submit your applications to. And Sayon, can you also bring up that PowerPoint presentation? Yes, let me do a share screen with the rest, with everyone, so they can see that. Okay. Um, by the way, so, for, for our viewer, uh, all the links are going to be shared at the bottom of the, uh, the YouTube chat, okay? Um, and it's also going to, we're going to also have this main um, Google uh, that Fred is t speaking of. It's going to also be a link to share it as, with you as well, so you can ac access that. So let me share the screen right now. Share screen. Okay, let me see here. Is that, there we go. Can you see that Fred? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know which page to go to. Uh, let's move forward. All right, so some facts. Oops, hang on. All righty, so some things that you should probably know, um, the interest rate for businesses is 3.75%. Uh, now for nonprofits, it's gonna be lower to 2.75%. Um, the maximum that you can receive from the loan is $2 million um, based you know, case by case. Um, depending if you're larger than most. Um, but the cool thing about this is that the loan terms are quite uh, extended um, to the maximum of 30 years. So that's quite nice. Um, that kind of alleviates the ability to pay things back. Um, also, upon filling out the application, you are eligible for a $10,000 advance. Uh, the purpose for this advance is just to try to get capital in the hands of business owners as soon as possible. Uh, we'll touch up more about that um, as we move forward. So next. Okay. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Okay, so let's look at the actual um, application here. Um, I think from the screen, you could kind of scroll down. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to zoom in um, here. Maybe it's too big. That's too much, too far out. Zoom in. Can you just uh, put the present thing? Present. Um, like go into the, go into presenter's the view? No, no, no. Uh, you see where it says share? Share, share, share. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Press present. Oops. Present. Yeah. There we go. All right. Um, so this is the application. Um, as you can see, if you have less than 500 employees or you operate as a sole proprietor with or without employees or as an independent contractor, you're eligible for this loan. Um, scroll down. As Okay, um, you see where it says review and check all the following. 
Um, it's very important that you do check all the following because if you don't, there's a high chance that your application will be rejected. Mm -hmm. Move forward. Okay, so it's gonna ask you about very simple information about the business. It's gonna ask for the EIN or the SIN if you're a sole proprietor, scroll down. Okay, it's gonna ask you if you're a nonprofit or not. It's also gonna ask you for the gross revenue um, 12 months prior to the disaster. Now what they're putting for the disaster is before January 31st. So what they're actually asking is 2019. Um, so where it says gross revenues for 12 months prior and cost of goods sold for 12 months prior, what they're actually asking is for your annual cost of goods and your annual gross revenues for 2019, just to be clear. Um, also, if you have any rental properties, go ahead and put any lost rents that you got, um, lost during um, this time. Uh, like I said, uh, 2019 will be a good year to look at. Um, scroll down some more. The same thing for nonprofits. Um, also, if you're a nonprofit that offer um, secular-based activities, um, you can go ahead and uh, list those services there. Um, any other compensations that you receive um, via grants or any other loans um, during this time of crisis, um, SBA would like to know about that also. Um, the one thing that we kind of want to prevent is a double dipping of funds. So we just want to make sure that you're getting the necessary help that you need. Um, so scroll down some more. And then I'll go ahead and fill you know, the business established date, what kind of business you are and how many employees you have, uh, move forward. Very simple information. Now, more simple information about ownership of the company. Scroll down some more. Um, scroll down some more. Next. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. Fill, fill it all out. Mm. Okay. It yeah, looks like next. these are a pretty self-explanatory area. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Next. <laughs> okay. Additional information. Um, so here, um, if it applies to you, put yes or no. Uh, you, you most likely want to put no on all of these. Um, there's a high chance if it was a yes, you may not be eligible for the loan. Um, actually don't include that because I really don't know about this part, but just answer, answer it honestly, uh, scroll down. Um, here, when it says, does someone assist you? Uh, I, for, for clients I've been working with, I've just been putting my information in there, but I don't know if I want to just tell people through YouTube that, hey, put my information through here. You get what I'm saying, Sayon? The uh, yes, so um, anyone uh, in the blue section here? If yeah, so, I, so when, I, when I personally do it with somebody, I, I put my info here, but I don't want to tell someone to put my info here if they're doing it alone, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so can you just like skip, <laughs> skip that part? <laughs> sure. All right, this part is important. All right, so here it's going to add it where it says, which like to be considered for an advance of $10,000. You want to check that. Um, like I said, it's SBA's way of trying to get money into your hand as soon as possible. Um, so there's no reason why you wouldn't want that. So go ahead and check that and fill in your bank information. And then moving forward. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And Oops, sorry. And just check that I hereby understand portion. Yep. And then forward. And it should give you a summary. Um, double check. Um, the thing is, if there's any mistakes, the second process is, I mean, the second step to the process is that a loan officer will then contact you from SBA. Um, from there, he will go through your application, let you know if, anything, if there's anything wrong or if you got everything right or if he needs any additional documents, um, so on and so forth. Um, moving forward. Yes, and once you receive your application number, you know that your application has gone through. 
Um, there's no need to fill out an application again. Um, if we see that you have two application numbers, that's a bad sign. Um, so once you receive your application number, just know that you are good to go and that a loan officer will reach out to you. Um, they, they told me at one time, 10 to 21 days. Um, I've seen people get reached out to the very next week. So honestly, it really depends on the volume of which they're receiving these applications. Okay, and moving forward. Yes, so yes, the CARES Act law, the SBA must process the emergency grants up to $10,000 within three days of the application. Um, the SBA uh, loan officer will then reach out to you regarding the loan. Um, for any other questions, you can reach out to info at generator.com or if you need actual technical assistance or actual business counseling, you can reach out to fred.soar at ucclb.org or call our number 562-999-1755. Um, yes, and not only that, so I, so I wanted to, I kind of want to end it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, I was going to mention, I was going to mention another type of loan called the paycheck protection program, but okay. I feel like I might, it might be information overload. Yeah. So let's, um, we can, so I can stop, uh, sharing this. Okay. Um, all right, Fred. So that was about, I don't know, maybe a little over 10 minutes uh, with the application walkthrough. And then they could also just uh, reach out to you um, with the email mm -hmm. uh, that you gave out. And it's also on the phone number. And those information is going to be at the bottom as well so for folks to reach out to you with questions. Can I also get the raw footage so I can be better for next time? Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, so I think, so we're in our portion here for this uh, announcement. Yeah. Thanks, Ayan. Okay. Thank you, Fred. All right. Let me hang on here. Let me oh, see. How was that? Was that dry?